when it comes to understanding the functional organization of the body, one simple analogy can be used to demonstrate what makes up the human body. We start off by understanding what makes up a state. In order to build the state, we lay out the foundations and we start off by having clay. And this clay is used to make the bricks. And a bunch of bricks put together make up the wall. And enough walls will make the building. A bunch of buildings make a city. And when you have a bunch of cities put together, you eventually have a state. The same thing inside the human body. We go from small to big. We analyze what are the essential ingredients. We find out we start off with molecules representing our clay. Our molecules make up what are known as the smallest unit of life, called the cell. A bunch of cells clustered together will make tissues. And enough tissues will make an organ. And when the organs work together, they make organ system. And with the organ systems working in unison with each other, they make the organism. When we delve into what makes up the molecules that sustain the organelles of the cell, otherwise known as the little organs, we find that the molecules com are composed of fats, carbohydrates, proteins, and nucleic acids. For example, DNA. And when we have these components of organelles, they function together to make a cell. And according to the Smithsonian, we have about 37.2 trillion of them. and roughly about 200 types of cells in the body. And all of them will divide, except for a few vital ones. The first of them being the brain, followed by the heart, then the kidney, then the liver, and lastly, the lungs. And the organs, as they work together, to sustain the life of the human being, they make what are known as the organ system. And this organ system co is comprised of 11 types of systems that all work together to perform related functions to accomplish activities for survival. The first of them being 
the circulatory system. When we talk about the circulatory system, we mean that the blood that flows through our body, it carries nutrients and oxygen to all the organs of the body, and then it carries away the waste products it leaves behind. Secondly, we've got a digestive system. And this digestive system works by breaking down food, absorbing nutrients, and getting rid of the wastes that we eat. Thirdly, we have a respiratory system. And its primary function is to provide body with the oxygen that we breathe in and expel the carbon dioxide that we don't need. Fourthly, we have a urinary system. And as the name implies, it rids away urine from the body. It removes the wastes. It regulates the electrolyte balance. It regulates the acid base levels. And it controls blood volume, really. And as we control blood volume, we ultimately control the blood pressure. Fifthly, we have the skeletal system. And the skeletal system provides structure for the body as well as protection of the internal organs, like the ribcage protecting the heart. Sixthly, we have the muscular system. And its primary function is bodily movement. After that, we have the integumentary system. And its function is to protect the body from damage like abrasions and water loss. After that, we have an immune system that protects the body from harmful substances like pathogens and bacteria. And it also fights off disease. After that, we have a nervous system. which is comprised of the brain, the spinal cord, the nerves, and they all work together to coordinate body actions that are necessary for the body. After that, we have an endocrine system. And it's composed of hormones which really initiate bodily processes. And lastly, we have a reproductive system, which is responsible for the perpetuation of our species. And these 11 systems will be dissected further in subsequent videos. So all of these systems, what their main task is to reach and maintain a dynamic steady state for the body, a steady state which caters to a special setting for the body that is necessary for it to be at in order to th for the body to thrive and survive in a relatively changing environment. And this resists to the changes that make the body ill or Uneasy is what is known as homeostasis. And it does that 